Dude, I really hate when they make stuff so hard in books, man. Like, just explain it like I'm dumb. <laughs> explain as if I'm like, can. Why do they gotta use hard words? Like, objects. I don't know what the fuck objects are. Yeah. This episode, I will teach you the basics about classes. I'm not gonna do the full thing. It's gonna be a three episode arc. This chapter is just too goddamn long, man, okay? But classes. Let's start off with explaining what a class really is. Okay, I don't know how to explain it. Basically, let's say you have a class of dogs. We're gonna do dogs, okay? Dogs in general have some attributes which makes them a dog, right? Maybe they uh, they sit, they they do the woof, huh? <laughs> Maybe they have a name if it's your pet. So what a class does, let's make a class called dog. This is what it looks like. Oh shit. And when we create a class called dog, we can try and simulate a real life dog by adding attributes to it, by adding behaviors, things to it. And the syntax, which is like how you write code in the class dog, is kind of complicated. I'm not gonna lie. It's, it's very fucked up. <laughs> But I'll try my best to explain it, okay? So, when we make a class of any kind, we first have to make a dog string, which describes what this class is gonna do. So, let's say that this is our thingy. And then we gotta add a lot of functions. Now, for some weird shit, they don't call it a function when it's in a class. They call it a method. So just like a function, we define, but because it's in a class, we call it a method. So from now on, I will call these methods. And the first method that we always create, always, is double underscore init double underscore. It's this one, the init. And it doesn't mean something here in it here no it means initialize and they didn't explain this in the book so i had to fucking figure this on my own uh, it means initialize and this is a very special method okay python always automatically runs this code when we create a new instance and now you don't know what an instance is but i will explain it later it's actually kind of easy the initialize method this this motherfucker how do i call it initialize in it i'll just say in it so the init method always has at least one parameter, which is the self. And I will also explain this later because you first need to know what an instance is. So self, and we can also add things that belong to a dog. So let's do name and let's do age. Okay, a dog can have the attributes, name and age. Then I'll write the dog string for this. Initialize, okay, initialize name and age attributes. So when we create attributes or parameters besides the self, we need to initialize them. And to do that, we do self.name is equal to name and self.age is equal to age. Now this won't make any sense because why do we do that? When we get to instances, I'll fucking tell you, okay? Just, just be patient, god damn. And there we go. We have initialized our method with the parameters slash attributes. Cool. Let's make another method huh? where they sit. So in this method, we will describe a dog that is sitting. And to do this, uh, we make an f string with self.name is now sitting. Uh, so important, uh, in a method, we have to refer the variable in the initialize section, okay? So let's do another one for roll over. Also has to have self colon. Okay, so this is our whole class. A method where we initialize the name and age. A method where we basically describe dog to sit. And a method where we basically describe the dog to roll over. Now here's gonna be the fun part because now it's gonna make sense. The book uses hard words that I don't understand. And one of those is making an instance from a class. What this means is you just create a dog. Create a new dog that has a name and an age and to do that we need to create a variable so let's say my dog is equal to the class and then we fill in the name and age not self because this self is automatically used by python and it skips over this so we basically never really use this when we fill in the arguments so we skip that and we fill in the name let's do willy and uh, let's do six we have created an instance, which basically means we created a dog. And you can make as many instances as you want. Your dog. Now we have two instances. But let's go back to uh, our dog. 
let's go back to my dog huh uh so you remember when i said a self i'll explain it uh, after we learn about the instance yes now it's gonna happen buck club bruh i hope you're wearing a diaper because shit's about to get real uh, <laughs> so what self does is it basically refers to itself that's it <laughs> that's it so when we created our uh, own instance my dog every time we do something with my dog it will look at itself so their own name their own age uh we fill it in here right so when we fill in willy and six for the name and age it will know that its own name is willy that its own age is six because here we filled it in um, so yeah it, it just basically refers to itself here also when we tell it to sit it refers to itself uh, and their own name is willy in this instance i think that's the most simplest way that i can explain it but yeah that's why we always use self uh, in each method so it knows to refer itself when we use the name or age or i don't know okay what can we do with it now we can call the method so let's say we want to make the dog go specifically willy sit huh uh, how, how do we do that how do we do that you can call it by typing the variable that we created so my dog and then dot sit and then we'll get willy is now sitting so we uh, basically have to look at the methods we can do the same for the roll over and willy roll over that's kind of that's cute that's <laughs> that's, that's kind of cute Oh god, I, I kind of forgot, but when we make a class, you use a capital letter, okay? It signifies that it's a class. Alright, exercise. Make a class called restaurant. Okay, this guy's capital R. The init method for restaurant should store two attributes, okay? So let's make our method self and two other attributes. Restaurant name and cuisine type. What I did forget was this models a okay uh and let's do self dot restaurant name is equal to restaurant name and then we can define our other methods and here's the exercise make a method called describe restaurant that prints these two pieces of information and a method called open restaurant that prints a message indicating that the restaurant is open make an instance called restaurant from your class Print the two attributes individually and then call both methods. Fuck am I reading? I'll just uh, follow along. Uh, okay, make a method called describe. I know it's kind of dumb that I put these dog strings in here, but they important, guys. Just make it a habit of doing this every time you use a def function slash method. Okay, and we basically want to print the restaurant name and the cuisine type. So we have to do... I think it works like this, but I don't know. Oh God, it doesn't feel good. And the other method that we needed was called open restaurant prints message that, that the restaurant is open. And these are our methods. Let's call them. Okay, how the fuck do I call it again? I don't know. Like, like this and like this. Okay, uh, let's see it. Oh, okay, so this worked. This did not. Okay, it worked. Okay, 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 okay. Damn, I wrote this. I fucking wrote this all on my own. Holy fucking shit, guys. My brain is really popping off today, huh? Okay, skip, skip the other ones. They too easy. I'm just too smart. I want to do something with cars. I don't even like cars, but okay. So we have our KS car. We have our def initialize method. Cool. And what does a car have? It has a make, it has a model, and it has a year dog string. And then we assign the attributes to itself. Let's do a descriptive. So what I want this to do is basically return these three attributes. And then we can return the value because we used it in a variable. It's a fuck. I don't know how to explain it anymore. <laughs> Just makes sense now. These two methods. Don't forget, always use self here. And then we can call it by uh, making a new instance. OK, 
okay and then we can get the method get descriptive name so my car dot descriptive name and then boom boom easy <laughs> wait what oh because oh yeah when i call this it has it has print in it oh okay okay so i, I can't just suddenly call it okay i have to print it and we can also put in more attributes but they don't necessarily have to be in here if there's something with a default value uh we can just add it here so let's do a odometer odometer reading there uh, which is equal to zero then we can make a new method where we read the odometer and because this uses print we only have to call it boom boom and it says this car has zero miles on it that's fucking cool okay but what if we want to manually change this number to something like 69 instead of going here and changing it to 69 we can also modify it from here we would say my car dot odometer reading is equal to 69 and if we call it now it has 69. This is just confusing me, man. We could also fuck it and, and make another method, which is called update odometer. Huh? How about that? This will update the odometer. Let's add a different attribute, mileage. And then the self.odometer reading, which is this one, will now equal to the mileage that we give it. Okay. So when we call it, we skip the self and then we fill in the mileage. Let's do 69 also. And then we can print the result, which was this, right? Read odometer. And uh, this will also give us 69. Uh, just to show you that it's not from the previous one, I'll change it to 70. And it changes to 70. So that's also one way to do it. So in this part, I changed the update odometer to make it a little bit more realistic. So if we were to change it to 68 now, and when we call the instance again, and we now say that it's 68, epic. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's cool. It's fucking hard though. It's confusing as fuck though, but it's kind of cool. And the last method that I want to go through is incrementing a value because, well, an odometer also goes up, right? So uh, we can also do that. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it would look like this. Okay, this is our new method. And what this basically does is whatever we fill in for this, for the miles, it will just add to the odometer reading, which is uh, this one. So right now it's set to zero. We can double check that by calling this method, read odometer, right? So my car has zero miles on it. Then we can update the odometer with this one by uh, incrementing it. Let's do my car dot increment odometer and let's fill in for the miles let's do uh, 169 and then we can do the same as above my car dot read odometer and boom it has 169 okay and this is where i'm at the episode god dog. a lot of code a lot of selves but i hope it's kind of like understandable if not join the discord or leave a comment below okay you might have noticed i shaved this part it looks better right tell me it looks good also new microphone so i think it's better i think it's better because there's no echo anymore so that's cool that's cool that's an upgrade huh well thank you for watching see you guys in the next episode peace